and star of News Radio, Dave Foley. I'm, I'm Dave Foley, and I just wanted to talk to you, not, not just as a middle-rung celebrity, but also as a Canadian who has recently moved to your country. Now, I've been surprised to find how little Americans seem to know about Canada. Now, granted, there are, there are many similarities between our two nations, but there are also many subtle differences that give us our unique Canadian identity. For example, in Canada, everyone hates Barbara Streisand. <laughs> but here, she seems to be quite popular. <laughs> And there are other differences, too. I mean, we don't have states, we have provinces. Um, we use the metric system. Uh, Canadians and Americans both love football, but in Canada, the game is played slightly differently. Uh, the field is a different size, for one thing. Uh, the CFL field is 17 miles long and six feet wide. So understandably, games are a little longer. Uh, in fact, the 1949 Grey Cup game is still in progress. <laughs> Many Americans believe that our national anthem is O Canada, simply because we enjoy singing it before hockey games. But in fact, our national anthem is The Night Chicago Died by Paper Lace. <laughs> our systems of government differ somewhat in that uh, America is a republic with a president, a congress, and a senate. In Canada, we are ruled by a small boy with supernatural powers, <laughs> of whom we are all very fond. Now in the US, when a mummy and daddy love each other, they perform bipolar sexual intercourse and make a baby. Canadians, however, are a breed of hermaphrodites who reproduce by means of auto-insemination, thus eliminating the need for sex. This also explains why we don't really have a film industry. And of course, how can we discuss Canada without discussing the weather? Yes, it is cold in Canada. It is very, very cold. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes, the average year-round temperature is 275 degrees below zero. But that is Celsius. Now, can we talk about something else? Like, for example, the fact that our atmosphere is pure sulfur dioxide, which is, of course, incapable of sustaining life, life as you know it. Or the fact that we only have gravity for six hours out of each day and spend the rest of our time desperately clinging to trees to avoid being spun into the endless abyss of space. Yes, all this is true, but at least we have universal health care. Thank you for your time. <laughs>